Good morning, cruising family. Today is day six. Tomorrow is the day that we get off of the ship. And so today I wanted to do a video a little bit different for you. Today. So disembarkation day, in case you don't know, is the day that we get off of the ship and it's time to go home, right? So what happens is tonight, if you don't wanna carry your luggage off with you, it has to be placed outside. The state room attendant will leave us our luggage tags and that's what we're gonna do. We're not getting off with our luggage because we're in no hurry to get off. We have nothing to do Saturday, nothing to do on Sunday. So we're not in no hurry to get off. So we're going to allow them to take our luggage outside and then we'll pick it up outside based on the luggage tag that we have. So the video that I wanted to do today is I want to show you how we basically pack and repack for when it's disembarkation day. One of the biggest things that people always forget to do is leave pajamas out for tonight because they pack everything up. They forget to leave pajamas out for tonight unless you're sleeping without any clothes on, which is per totally a personal choice and up to you. But the other thing people forget to do sometimes is leave um, an outfit for maybe this evening as well as definitely to wear off the ship tomorrow. And I have seen people wear pajamas off the ship because they forgot to leave clothes out. And once they pick up that luggage at, sometimes it happens be, on, on Royal Caribbean, I know that it happens between around 11 or midnight. Once that luggage is gone, you're not getting back into it. It's gone. It's already packed, it's put away, it's put wherever they're gonna put it, it's gone. So today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we prepare for that, how we keep our dirty clothes separate, what we do with our dirty clothes. These are things that somebody may not have told you before, but we're going to get into it today. So these are the packing cubes that we use every time we travel. And as you can see that this one is a different brand. That means we have more than one set of packing cubes. We ordered them off of Amazon and the packing cubes uh, typically come in orders of four, uh, four different sizes. So you have this smaller size here. Then you have a medium size here. This one is actually the next size up. And this is the larger one. Same thing when we ordered this set, it came with four of them and that's the smaller size of the four. So here's what I typically do. Unmentionables go in here. Bra, underwear, uh, socks, belts go in here when I'm packing to come on the ship. This next one I might leave for bathing suits, shirts, um, or if there's anything left over from this one here. This one here I typically use for my um, shirts and I, and I roll everything. And this last size I typically use for pants because as you know, pants, skirts, dresses, those things can be bulkier. So I use my larger one for that. I put everything in here so you can see how I do it. Everything gets rolled. This is shirts, this is shorts, bathing suits. That's a dress back there. Everything gets rolled because when you roll it, it helps to save on the space for what you're doing. So again, I mentioned to you before that this was the day that I am packing to leave. So the another essential thing that I always recommend is that you bring something to put your dirty clothes in, right? Now, that's just half of our dirty clothes. Remember, this is a seven day cruise. This is the other half. And I'm not done packing this. The good thing about these is even though they zip close, they leave you some extra space in there. You have extra space. It kind of gives a little bit, gives you some stretch. So these are some of the dirty clothes that I have. Now, Daryl and I share a dirty clothes basket. So some of these clothes in here are mine and some of them are his. I'm gonna take those dirty clothes out, fold them and put them into, I have these three available for dirty clothes. Why is that? Because these two, are my clean clothes that I have remaining. So any skirts, shirts, shorts, bathing suits, anything that I had left over that I did not wear on these cruise went into these first two bags here. This is all dirty clothes. I wore this this week. This is all dirty clothes. So I have to take my clothes out of this 
and put it in these two packing cubes and don't worry it will fit plus i have some more space in here if i need to so i'm going to pack that one to capacity so that when i and i the reason i do this is so that when it's time for me, when I get home and it's time for me to consider washing clothes and cleaning stuff, I can almost literally, with the exception of if there was anything white or anything special, I can literally dump this whole thing into the washing machine because I know that everything in there is dirty. I don't have to go through, I don't put dirty clothes and clean clothes together. I know that these things can go right back into the drawer. I don't even have to think about it. So that's why I repack almost the same way that I packed to get here with the exception of I'm not separating shorts and shirts and underwear and, and things like that. It's all going in what's left and I'll know what's clean from what's dirty. I hope this video has helped you in some way. Uh, just so you know, like I said, the packing cubes all come from Amazon and these are just mine. Daryl has his own set, of course. And this mesh laundry bag came from the Dollar Tree. So it's nothing here is very, is expensive at all. These are the things that we use for embarkation as well as disembarkation, meaning getting on the ship as well as getting off the ship to make things easier. Now I'm gonna give you some bonus footage here in a minute. So just stand by for the bonus footage because I'm also gonna show you how we pack things for our bathroom area. All right, so here we are in the bathroom. And these are the things that we have, including things for in the shower, like our loofahs and soap things. We put we put our soap in those uh, bottles that uh, we get from Dollar Tree just to make it smaller to fit in there. This is the thing that's important to us though. See the Ziploc bag here? All of this stuff here, anything that's liquid, that's wet, that can spill, all goes into that plastic Ziploc bag. We have two of them. And so I can pack all of that stuff up tonight that I don't need, I will leave, leave out. I will either leave out one small bottle of the soap, which looks like this, because this is actually some uh, dial soap in there. I will either leave out a bottle of soap or I can use the shower gels that the uh, cruise line provides. And one is for a shower and I'll open the door for you here. One is for shower gel and one is for shampoo and they top it off just so you know so i can either just use that and pack up all my stuff tonight or i will you know leave my one bottle of that out and one loofah out you know the loofah is going to dry pretty quickly and all of this stuff will go into probably one maybe two ziploc bags that we have it gets packed into the suitcase so we don't have to worry about anything spilling. So that's the bonus footage for how we pack um, not just clothing, but uh, bathroom items as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, we encourage you to like, share, subscribe, help somebody out that might be a new cruiser, or maybe you learned something today. If you learned something new today, feel free to leave us a comment. We appreciate any and all comments, likes, shares, and subscribe.